Welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and today our team is in the beautiful stateroom of Washington's capital city of Olympia. Now we've come to cover the key issues of the 2016 legislative session. My guest today is Republican Representative Terry Neely from Dayton. Terry, thank you for joining us. Mm, thank you. You were concerned about the costs, especially some of our smaller communities are sustaining from giving out public records and a change in the state law. That's correct. We have the public records law now, mm -hmm. which uh, supports the idea of transparency of all government. That means our citizens should be able to access all public records. Sure. That's good. That's fine. However, we're finding out there's more and more abuses of the system in a couple of areas. One is when a citizen gets angry at a local government and they just swamp that government with multiple requests for years and years of records. Uh, that can really tie up a, a small community. For example, the little city of Kingston uh, says that they are now putting 86% of their people's time just to answer public requests. So it's oh. way over the top. It's too bad. There's examples also of people who are just vengeful. They don't like government, so they're just asking uh, uh, multiple requests. And there's not a good mechanism in the current law of how to resolve those disputes. So we've got a bill that we're working on to try to resolve that and have a pathway to a solution if there's a dispute. Well, as a journalist, using those kind of mechanisms to get mm -hmm. information um, to access what's going on with your taxpayer dollar, that's been used for a long time. But now to find that people are doing this on more of an abusive level, that's relatively new. I don't think governments have had to incur a lot of costs for that in the past. That's they? right. And, and, that's, and that's the issue and that's the problem. Because the true requesters, like the news agencies, who certainly have a legitimate right also to access, if they get behind some of these large requests that may take years to answer the multiple requests, uh, then you're not going to be able to obtain those records on a timely basis. So th th those are the issues that we're working with. The other area is a commercial requester. Some people from out of state, for example, asking for multi pieces of information that tie up a lot of time and a lot of costs. And what's happening is that most communities, especially the smaller ones in ports and school districts and hospital districts, all of them are adversely affected by this. Mm -hmm. So they're having to hire more people just to answer these requests, especially police departments. Instead of uh, having their police on the road, they're in answering requests. Sure, because what? you have to be in compliance with the law. That's right. And if they're not in compliance, they have to answer it very timely and they have to answer completely. If they miss a page, they could get sued for lots of money. And that's, mm. that's happened. So what it's also driving is new innovation, uh, internet, uh, software programs that help accumulate all this information more quickly. So that's a good part to try to help answer these legitimate requests. But we still need some backdrop or background to protect those over-the-top requests. And also, um, with your other efforts this legislative session, how do you feel we're sitting with the money about halfway through this session? Uh, the budget part? Mm -hmm. Well, we're, uh, I'm on the ERFEC, which means the Economic Revenue Forecast Council, and the latest report is that we're down about $600 million, primarily because of health care, uh, and the Medicaid and those problems. And so we're having to adjust the budget somehow. We don't have an answer yet, but I think we'll have it in this short supplemental year by the time we get out of here, hopefully in, on a timely basis, which is the 60 days. Hope that for you. Yes. <laughs> and any other last things you'd like to say before we conclude? Well, uh, it's been a very chaotic session, uh, very fast paced. Uh, I'm concerned about the initiatives that will be probably on the ballot this next summer or this summer for everybody, which is the cap and trade possibly, mm -hmm. and carbon tax and minimum wage. Big issues, big issues for, for our constituents to deal with. And the question is whether the legislature is going to take the time and have the courage to vote on something to usurp those initiatives or not. So or if we don't... Straight to the voters. That's right. So if we don't take care of it now, it'll be on the ballot as an initiative. All right. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for yes. joining us. Thank you very much. This is Terry Neely from Dayton. I'm Dana Cowley. And thank you for watching Charter Local Edition Northwest.